mean, they could get, they could, they, they're buff it's pretty frequently. I I've never like. seen a buff person with Down syndrome ever in my life. You can't lift ever. your IQ. You have to go lift weights. They're stocky. They have strength, but they're, they're not stuck. ripped. Okay. <laughs> Look at me so accusatory. Well, I'm, I'm not just saying. That, that dude with Down syndrome, he looks good. He, like, he he's <laughs> definitely... Like, he's the bully on the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like the, it's like he's the fastest person in the Special Olympics. He would be. Yeah, I guarantee oh, that kid that, would. Not the he point. would dominate. <laughs> not the point he, like, if they had basketball, no, he I would wouldn't. be dunking on people. <laughs> he, he'd be talking shit to, like, put, like, slamming his nuts <laughs> in their face at, as he's dunking. I'm just saying. I about, didn't come here to make friends. Like if, I was, if my mom was like, "Hey, you're gifted and you have Down syndrome. I want you in the Special Olympics." I didn't come here to make friends, you <laughs> pussy. I'm just saying that the Special Olympics is stupid because it doesn't. Stay out of the fucking paint unless you want to get dunked on. Sad. Does that mean Mixo- you're recording, to me- you're yeah. recording right now? No. Is, Mixologist. Is recording button? Yeah. <laughs> Mixologist is such a horseshit fucking word to make people sound like they're more experienced than they are. Right. I make people like question whether you're a DJ for a second and then realize, it's oh, like, you just. It's like, uh, yes, so- I just graduated. Oh, what'd you go to school for? Mixology? And then like. So you're a bartender. Mm. Little did they know he'd grow up to become Sir Mix. No, actually, there's a lot of <laughs> complex chemistry involved with it. It's like, yeah, you're a fucking bartender. Oh, you make the syrup? <laughs> and the li- you make the liquor and the syrup? We actually make the simple syrup here. I was like, yeah, it's simple. It's literally called simple syrup. It's the easiest thing to make. That would be a good rap name. Simple syrup? Simple syrup. <laughs> I like it. It's a. It's, it's a just retarded, a group. It's a no, no, it's a group of special ed meeting. kids from Canada. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are called the Simple Syrups. <laughs> Thank you. Little talent. I'm cold now. <laughs> my rap name. Oh, dude, that's that's your rap name. Maybe I'm, if oh, we, I'm cold now. Ma- ma- maybe <laughs> little maybe cold if we now. turn the fans back on, you'll be less cold. What are you trying to say? No, what do you want us to do? It's a nice little breeze that's <laughs> in my shoulder. You, dude, you're just going to have to deal with it because I'm fucking hot as shit. Well, right? You're wearing a long sleeve. Here, I'll close this. I, this is the best you get. I, you I was wearing paint. a jacket. You know and how I to took treat it off. Good. Yeah. All yeah. right. What yeah, I mean, this isn't exactly a fucking fancy climate controlled studio. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the second I'm bedroom of my... I will <laughs> beat your ass, ass now, on what... camera. I will beat your ass on camera. Edit that. To where you no. Take out the B. <laughs> <laughs> the what? I can take out the part where it starts with the B. It's going to be eat my ass. I will eat your ass on camera. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll make them watch. Let For the free. boy watch. <laughs> like my father taught me. Is that where you guys prefer the, the video podcast to the audio podcast? Uh, it, honestly, uh, it started with, uh, the first time I did any type of video podcast was when, uh, pandemic hit and I had to start doing Zoom on my other mm-hmm. podcast and just like, now it's easy. It's just saves. And I was like, cool. Um, this was always heading this way and we started uploading on YouTube just cause it was the easiest platform to upload stuff on. So I was uploading videos with no actual video and it was mm-hmm. just like, our podcast logo for fucking an hour and whatever. We've come a long way. Yeah, we have. And then I found out that you can get a camera that's decent for pretty cheap, so... I mean, I know it's not HD or anything, but... Right, right. You are talking to the camera guy. I don't know, it says 4K on the side of it. I don't mm-hmm. believe it. Yeah this, yeah. this doesn't look like 4K. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably not. The audience doesn't know that. Yeah. Does this Whatever. mean you have questions about cameras and shit? For That's them? why we brought you in. Actually, we're not even recording. Yeah. So we're thinking actually, about upgrading <laughs> our studio equipment. Yes. We wanted to know. <laughs> we brought you in here to threaten you for your fancy <laughs> equipment. We feel very confident that the two of us together can take you. <laughs> I wouldn't on the magic that. carpet I w- ride? I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> okay. The guilt would 
haunt me for a long time. I couldn't rob for a tan. Well, dude, he's white. You can just chalk it up to this is for the ancestors. It's a hate so crime. Just be like, no, well, if I'm getting reparations, it's not going to be a Nikon. <laughs> Technically, I all fucking... white people deserve this in some oh, form or another. My reparations are going to be more than a camera. I would like, I would like what else do you got? <laughs> do you think, okay, now... Well, you can have the Nikon, but, you know. What else you got? <laughs> do you think if... Uh, uh, like the majority of black people, we gave them the option of like reparations or to just beat the shit out of a known racist. <laughs> it would probably come down to First the off, money. It would probably come down to how much money because they still beat racist people up. There's never stopped a black person. No, but like, <laughs> but like free and clear. Like there's nothing. Like literally, it was just like, hey, I we do that leave, shit for free. We leave like, you. Get away with all we that. leave you in a room alone with uh david duke for five minutes <laughs> they take the money man and then they would just still go beat up david duke because they could afford an attorney <laughs> no, 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 i'll take that shit and i was like what are you gonna do prosecute me this then, fucking clan <laughs> they will go to jail like nigga i get out i'm rich they wouldn't care like, they're, they're not gonna kill david duke. Well, I don't know. but they get the money forfeited is it easier or harder if it's an, an old old white man Physically, it's easier. Well, yeah, <laughs> Physically, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so much easier. It's like in, in the most honestly, I'd feel, sense, it's I I would feel better <laughs> beating up an old racist white man because I know yeah, in because his that's heart, like that's he's like really real, racist. That's, yeah, that's like, like real racist. That's like he might have like Emmett Till deserved it type of racist. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. break this old man in half. But the, the type new of racist, racist and it's like, so what? She lied. Whatever. I mean, like the new racists are like homegrown racists. They're kind of like I'm racist, but like not. They don't really like. I don't know. How would you, it's how not would the you... same. It's not the. It's not the same. It's like he's not, racism he's today. Like he grew like time Listen, change. Goddamn racists today aren't the same. Like when I grew up. Back when I grew up, you fucking earned your racism. <laughs> you put in the work. No, it's it's no, definitely no, you had to return tiki torch bullshit. You had to return yeah. the masters three lips. You had to return three black lips on the next. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> That's what the f- that the f- the thing that cracks me up the most is like when people hear this on just audio version, mm. they're gonna be like, "This fucking Chris motherfucker mm-hmm. is a goddamn white supremacist," mm-hmm. and then they'll, they'll click over to like a YouTube and be like, uh, uh, "He's just like a, different. Like just a samurai looking." <laughs> it was something I'm. I'm just a racist. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting some Clayton Bixby vibes. <laughs> I'm not even racist though. I'm just fine. <laughs> I know, and that was that was one of the things that I enjoyed the most uh, out of that uh, that night where we, you know, all did the characters, and I was I was you. So now this is the person that I was did an impression of on what was it the last episode or two episodes ago. Uh, now you get to hear him, and now you can leave in the comments how bad it was or how good it was. But my favorite thing is that I was doing like trying to copy like your style of jokes, mm-hmm. and then you. Out of nowhere, first time any of us had ever heard it, started saying wild ass jokes. It's like he copied and it was you. like it was like a Freaky Friday situation. Yeah. They looked like we had swapped bodies that night, and the boss was just letting them fly. And I was like, "Holy shit, man!" <laughs> that uh, I that, was proud of you, man. That, that whole last bit, I, I think, it was very heavily encouraged. The audience to participate. Oh yeah, and absolutely. Then, oh yeah. Well, the we, bit, yeah, the like... bit was very much how terrible you know bigotry is, and like we were all leading into it. Yeah, and, that's like, what like yeah. it, you said. You hit it right on the head. And we were just like, I was like, I never heard you talk like that, and I was like, I never heard you crack jokes like that. It was hilarious. And he's like, Well, once you understand that the idea is that you're making fun of how stupid it is that people think this way mm-hmm. it's like then it's funny and it's right, like you know right, right. in other contexts to you it's like it's not funny but it's like now you're like you're making fun of people that are actual bigots that's fun right, and funny right. and i was like yeah you yeah, get there it. are actual people that said like oh gay people getting married what's next animals getting married uh, it's like that's <laughs> <laughs> the people fucking said that on fox news it's like that, oh yeah, there was a heavy comparison. A real there, real it was thing. there were heavy comparisons yeah. to like pedophiles too. Right, it was right, like, oh, right. you were just gonna let them marry kids? <laughs> like, well, like, well, <laughs> was, I ain't got no problem. I I love the people that started with, I ain't got no problem with this, but <laughs> <laughs> but what's next? But what's next? But what's next? If we let Jesus this happen, Christ. then people will be marrying dogs and cats <laughs> and children. <laughs> And I was like, that shit's been going on since the fucking days of Elvis, all right? Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Woody Allen. <laughs> Woody Allen. Ugh. Ugh. But he did us so wrong. Dude. Hey, it's kind of wild. 
just the he how her, right? fa- like how slowly some things change and how quickly some other things change like how long it took for black people to like progress and then how quickly like lgbtq progressed by comparison oh it's a huge yeah way different I think that's why there's friction between I think that's what Dave black Chappelle people. was trying yeah. to get at. It was the same thing. It was just like, you guys are, how'd you guys do it? It was just like, God damn it, they're fucking lapping us. So it was like, mm-hmm. they, beat, I will give it they this, beat us in record time. The LGBTQ <laughs> got to advance because there's a, there's a lot of white people in that community. That was, <laughs> it's that a lot was easier for them. To, they could climb up to power mm-hmm. faster than a, a black bus driver can't yeah, this is the everything. same thing about the like the drug epidemic it was like once white people started overdosing they're like hold on we have to do something about this right, it's true <laughs> it was fine when it was crack but now now that it's heroin and fucking oxycotton in the suburbs we have to put a stop to this and there are people that believe that uh, big big republican is the one trying to pit the lgbt against the black community who's the big mm. republican I mean, who's any fucking big Illuminati? Congress, I guess it'd be Trump, right? Fuck. Is he the biggest one? No, <laughs> I don't think he knows that sh- about that shit. I you mean, I so? definitely like he was just trying to get money. And oh, okay, and power. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a shitload of like, uh, like Russian troll farms. Like that was oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was weird because it's uh, so many things sound like a conspira- a stupid conspiracy theory, and then you learn later that it's like actually got a bit of truth mm, to it. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Like, when Alex Jones said that the chemicals in the water were turning the frogs gay, and finding out that that was kind of true Mm -hmm. was the weirdest moment of my life. I was like, hold on. What other things are true that he said? I was like, he said some wild shit. Wait, was it ecstasy in the water? No, so uh, there was like a chemical runoff. Like, people, uh, some company, I can't remember... Dumped it, and it uh, killed off the female population of frogs. And this particular oh. uh, species of frogs is able to change their gender <clears throat> enough time. That's what but, happened with the Jurassic Park. That's the science behind Jurassic Park, is that... Yeah, it was all The same guys. kind of lizard brain shit that lets you tr- transition, like, asexually. Yeah. Oh. So, for the period of time, they, they started, like, trying to mate before they transition... So there was still male on male frog action. So there were male frogs trying to fuck male frogs. Did they have to like document so this? Was, were they wearing like leather? You know, <laughs> so you could make yeah. So like <laughs> yes. Was Elton John blaring in the pond? Yeah, the frogs. The frogs John. were listening to Madonna <laughs> and meeting up in frog leather bars. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Lion King, but frogs. Oh, that's so funny. Can you the leather lily, <laughs> the leather lily pad bar. They were being the winking lizard. <laughs> oh, that, that's such a cool job to be a scientist. Was like, hey, what's your assignment? I'm just studying the frogs, man. Nothing much going on in my world. You can't cancer. What like, are you doing uh, with that degree? Hey, man. Uh, uh, I, I hear work. you're working on something new. What is it? He's like, I've. It's not. It's not. No, come on, man. I don't hear it. It's, yeah, it's boring. I no, he said it was like a completely new species of frog. He's like, I'm watching frogs have gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> What's that now? <laughs> frogs are butt fucking each other. All right. I don't know what you want me to say. There's male on male frog action. All right. Does it pay good? Yes, it pays very well. I, gu- I guarantee you that I'm there sure was a science. science. I'm sure scientists will be fine with it. I guarantee scientists you there was a scientist fine. that called him Froggets. Oh, that's. <laughs> fucking, fucking froggets. I don't know. Scientists frogs? Don't they, do. really they got those funny. long tongues, too. They could probably really... Some scientists are. Oh, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, the I had... scientist I met. <laughs> Some. <laughs> no, uh, do you remember when. Uh, it was coming out that this was the the white power symbol mm-hmm. that was circulating in the news, mm-hmm. and uh, and they were saying one of the reasons that they, one of the arguments that yes. they were making uh, was like you know like the game where like you get somebody to look at it below your yeah, waist yeah, yeah, and you get to punch them. They were saying like they had like m- members in the military were doing that, and they were like, "There's no way that service members would play such a childish game." And I was like, "You guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We play that game all the time." 
but uh no oh, shit i lost my point i've been drinking kind of a lot frogs gay but uh oh frogs are white it. supremacists now no, no, no I, got, I got it i got it so it's just funny to be reminded like when you're working with people who are like have high security clearance jobs right. and they're at, like the top and they're like excellent uh working in like the field of intelligence and then you get reminded that they all do have childish humor. Uh, a dude that I worked with, um, he discovered like a specific uh, terrorist cell that was fo- <laughs> like designed to hunt down Americans and like wipe them out. Like it was just a small <coughs> group, so he named them the American Infidel Death Squad. Yeah. And whenever, <laughs> and so like you name the you list them that, and then you list the acronym, and then you refer to them as their acronym only in intelligence mm-hmm. reports. So he's giving a presentation on this terrorist network that he did identified. Did he do it on purpose? And he absolutely did it on purpose. <laughs> he named the group AIDS right, just because right, he thought right. it was funny, and he managed to get it to fit. And he was <laughs> briefing some high level people <laughs> that were sitting there listening, and then one of them went, "Hey." Did you name this group AIDS? <laughs> and, he, and he had to pretend like it wasn't on purpose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, my goodness. And he's just staring at him because he knows, but he can't be like, I mean, it's already circulated in several intelligence reports right, so that right, we gets too right. late to change the name yeah. now. AIDS. It'll just it'll just cause confusion. We're going to have to keep referring to them as AIDS. AIDS, AIDS. Imagine her, AIDS are killing our boys by the dozens. AIDS. This guy was able to <laughs> identify. <laughs> AIDS has infiltrated the, oh my God. the camp. Our boys are getting <laughs> ravaged by AIDS in Iraq. What is going on? We just found two of them in a tent together. Both AIDS. Those were slit by AIDS. What? <laughs> AIDS AIDS is blowing up in the Middle <laughs> East. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. That AIDS moved in quick. Oh my god. They're they're like a virus. <laughs> it's, it's spread like a virus. They're like a plague sweeping across the Middle East. God, that's funny. That's a that guy's a genius. Oh my god, I I, I never Obama respected. Like I never Biden. respected somebody more the in the entire time I was doing and that. And he was job. like a high level off, like he had high clearance. Oh uh, yeah, uh, awesome. he was a. I forget. He he was a counter intel dude. Is he rich? Probably. Uh, he was still in the military, There's so no. Jack Ryan shit. No, no, no. no. Like it's all Jim uh, from the office and Jack Ryan. No, it all makes it sound like it's is more it action than like it is. Season. It's all like the. It's all like the. You know, like the meetings and like the talking to people. But none of like the gun shooting, so it's definitely right, like right, intense, right. and the stakes are high. But it's just literally sitting down and talking to people. Very few times do people in that line of work actually have to. I'll fucking kill you. It's, right, it's right. cold. Again. If you I'm sorry. if you touch it again, I'm done. I'm gonna fuck you it's up. Perfect the way it is. And you can hear the outside too. I don't care. <laughs> it's it's a thousand degrees in here. Were you a little cold? Were you just a little bit chilly? I turned oh, off the fucking yeah. fan for you complaining about the noise. <laughs> I, t- I assure you, it doesn't come through in the audio. All right, we like, only hear it because right. these are very sensitive. It comes. <sighs> it does not come through. It does. I will kill you. I, I can edit it. <laughs> you know, it just sent me. Everything. This is getting uploaded tomorrow, so there's no time. There's no time for actual editing. It's gonna get the Yale Reams treatment, <laughs> the AIDS treatment, mm-hmm. the AIDS <laughs> moves in quick, fast, and deadly. So, Eric, oh, yeah. tell me about yourself. What made you get into comedy, man? Hmm. Um, I've been a filmmaker and like a writer for like a very long time. And I've been like writing jokes for a long time and. One day I saw Sam Rothstein have a status update about how sh- people should go out to the uh, the open mic over at, at Scully's there, and I currently had I saw my, your first set. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had I was walking with a cane, and I had my arm was in a sling. I just had a seizure, and I was all fucked up. You get a, you get a dirty joke, but it a, fell in something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was like my second or third. Oh, well, uh, but that was yeah. what I told that joke yeah. oh, okay. when I was Maybe reading them off the cards. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, it, it seemed like a more uh, direct, concise way to do the whole communicating ideas, funny things. So 
That's You're like an alien I trying to describe it. comedy. Yeah. Like, yeah. The funny communication. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like, he, he needs an update. He needs a new software update on comedy. Yes. That's what that actually is. His great, body's rejecting great, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. the possession that he has over his human in, in, form. Incoming update from the big giant head. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, when did you, how long ago was that? Like six months ago, right? Uh, yeah, like June. Okay. Uh, Are uh, you that May, new? May. No, I want to say May. Yeah. yeah, I think I saw you yeah, back yeah, in May. Yeah, yeah. It feels like you've been around longer. Almost too long. Right, right. Yeah, kind of like your sets. It's like, god damn, was that only five minutes? Right. Yeah, I give you that writing <laughs> one-liners to go for five minutes. Must, that oh, takes, fuck, I, can, I can't I can fucking do, do it. Was well, right. like writing the jokes to like when I was you. I was just like, this is a fucking nightmare. I can't write this style. I can't write this style at all. I had like two funny jokes the whole time, maybe. That's how he is. No, he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you nailed it. Head on, dude. That's why it was literally a perfect impression. Amazing. No comedy. It was hard, funny because I had like a few that like I really wanted to go well because I was like kind of proud of them and I was just looking at people like <laughs> even Eric's looking at you like <laughs> are like are you gonna laugh at this one? <laughs> no. Okay. Fuck. I I I felt like we were all very responsive the entire time. It was a good. That was one of the probably the most that fun night I've was ever had. so goddamn fun. Mm-hmm. There was man. no pressure mm-hmm. to be good. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, but everybody was. Yeah, everybody everybody really was good. fucking good. Jesse's character, which I never. Oh heard my of god, him. Mm-hmm. fucking. Hilarious. I mean, it's just fucking Tony. What's his face? Um, I, Tony Clayton. I don't know who that is. Fucking um. Man on the Moon. Goddamn. Oh, Andy Kaufman. Andy, Andy Kaufman's Kaufman. character oh, yeah, that he would go yeah, yeah. up oh, on stage okay. as sometimes. I mean, it's ba- it's basically Tony Clifton. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, even yeah. had, like, the fake gut and right, the, right, right, right. the They were insults. fucking amazing. Yeah. He, no, no, no. I'm not taking anything away from him. I was just making the you comparison. You heard it here first. Jesse Pimentel yeah, yeah, sucks yeah, according yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, he's a fucking thief. <laughs> no, he he's a goddamn fuck. joke he had thief. Me dying. Although I did hear somebody tonight, I'll tell you who later, but I definitely heard... An exact Kevin Hart bit mm. from a, a well-known person. Damn. In comedy? In comedy tonight. Fuck. Like, almost exact. Can you tell us the Kevin Hart bit? Actually, they're not going to watch it. So this, well, we can tell me later. I don't want any. Yeah, we'll are talk they, about are later. They black? Is it a I, black I, comment? I'm, a, I'm against... Uh... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Katie stole the Kevin Hart joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was Katie Humphreys, everybody. <laughs> I think Katie got on stage. I knew it was a Kevin Hart bit when she said the N word a bunch. And I was like, hold on. Hold on. I think I've heard this before. Can you imagine, like, Katie getting on stage, like, long nipple having ass bitch? <laughs> long titty, no nipple having ass bitch. I said, you motherfucking bitch. That would, that would be hilarious, actually. <laughs> so, how long have you been doing movies, dude? Um, Oh, boy. Uh, like eleven ish years. Like started out like in the background, like did music here and like was you a production. Like the, you were like a boom mic like, man. Never, first? never, never did that. Okay. Even though I've got the reach, I don't have the stamina. I was gonna say that. I was like, that might be me. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Because my my weak arms are so fucking offended. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you like, know, ever that. since I got into comedy, are those boot mics heavy? <laughs> Always. So, uh, not 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 particularly. I don't, about as I heavy think as they so. look. Like, oh, I, don't I can imagine just getting the heavy parts. Bad. Like what? They're I mean, I think though. I think the hardest part about it would just be like holding it consistently for like long scenes. Like yeah, I'd imagine, yeah, yeah, like yeah, absolutely. because like if you hold a fucking paper plate like this mm-hmm. high for like five minutes, your fucking shoulders are on fire. That's just because you're not used to holding your arms like that, or just your arms for that matter. Yeah, that's true. That it's was uh, up. anything can be heavy. That was man. something that uh, my buddy that was in the military. Well, I say military. He was in the Air Force, so not really. But one of the things they did to them. Was, uh, Air Force isn't real. Um, hey, is it? Not? Yeah, is it a conspiracy too? Yeah, is this is that what the birds aren't real? So uh, is my grandpa basically in Air Force. he's a liar. The the military all has different jokes for each other. The army is uh, fat. 
Uh, the Air Force uh, oh, stays in four-star hotels and doesn't do anything. It gets paid a lot, and it's fairly true. My grandpa's very... very uh, the Marine great. Corps is essentially retarded. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. I almost went to the Marines. The... Uh, yeah. And the coast, the navy is gay, <laughs> and the coast guard is basically like the redheaded stepchild. It's like technically you're in the military, but nobody will acknowledge you. Mm, right. They're like the Aquaman. I said, oh, actually, I made this, <laughs> I made this joke to to Pinoch at the heckle mic. I said, it, Indian people are Asian the same way the coast guard is the military. <laughs> yeah, Indians don't like to be called Asian though. No, Pinoch does. He likes to remind people facts. Pinoch wants That's to his be, number one thing. No, but Pinoch wants to be everything. He likes it when I, when I, when I hold a gun to his head and call, the, call him an Asian. <laughs> this is his kink, right? Oh, that's that's I thought Pinoch was Spit joking. on me and call me a chink. <laughs> I thought Pinoch was joking when he said he remember, I remember he came to me like, yeah, I've sucked a lot of dicks in the past. I'm allowed to say that. And I was like, you're crazy, man. And then I really found out he's gay. I was like, oh. He's, he's not pan. Gay. He's pan. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. It, that includes he's open. Gay. Yeah. He just it was like the fuck. first. Like I had a friend that she, like she told me like she basically said she was pan. Like she's like open to anything. And I was like, oh, so like you know like kids and like dogs and stuff. She's like, no. And I was like, okay, well then you're not pan because pan means everything. Right? Oh shit! I thought, yeah, I was like, why don't they just call him bi? So pan is you'll fuck anything. I think pan basically just includes. The entire spectrum of gender that is out there now. Pan is basically saying like trans either way. I thought and Pan was bread. Non-binary. Oh, it God, is. Eric. <laughs> There's Eric. There we go. He's back. There's. Huh. Hold on. Was that weed? Uh, yeah. It hit me in my <laughs> and I was like, he fucking smoked it and dripped it over. I was like, <laughs> son of a bitch. That's not a vape. <laughs> Pan sexual. I thought that. Yeah. Okay. So, all these consoles buy, dude. Yes, when you get sexually turned on by bread. I think if that is the case, then my girlfriend is pansexual. I, I shit you not, one Alina time I walked short. into her apartment and she was sitting on the couch watching TV, pulling slices of bread right out of the sleeve and eating it like mm. it's a bag of fucking chips. Well, she's got she's on I'll that eat. new bread game, though. I mean, you gotta lean into it. And like... I, I'll eat tor tortillas. Tortilla chips with no... No, I'll just eat a tortilla, like a flour tortilla. If you made bread... No, she didn't make bread. This is out of the fucking no, you're store. Talking like a We're fucking talking wonder. fucking Wonder Bread. I'm talking like she opens up the package and just sits there and eats it like they're she fucking just shit. With normal That's some type of shit where bread. she watched like her village get burned down as a child. Like, she, <laughs> I mean, like, she is over, from... over a loaf of bread. And yeah, now, and yeah. now every like, time now it's, a loaf of it's a small, oh, it's a smaller <laughs> Eastern European country. I mean, she's seen some shit. I'm gonna buy her. A it was funny. It's like she birthday. she talked about like the history of like the revolution of the country, and then uh, and I was like, okay, so like when was this? Like you know, in the 40s or 50s? She's like, no, nah, it was when I was alive. And I was like, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Tanya, see, she's seen some shit. She's seen she's some such shit, a nice bro. Person. That scares me now. She's like, nah, this was like 1992. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ! How old is Tanya? 32. Oh, she looks good for Asian. All right. Yeah, she, yeah. She's very pretty. Hell I was yeah. waiting on you to say something. I was She's very pretty. I and like, because I knew the that. silence, you'd want to say something, but you'd be too scared. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to. Like, I hate when people are like, do you think my girlfriend's good looking? I was like, I mean, I don't. Like, do you love her? Like, how do you want me no, to the first this? the oh. first time the first time he met my girlfriend, he was an asshole oh, to yeah, her, it was bad. and I, I like know. I had, I I had to fucking like uh, grab no. him like at the end of the night and be like, "Hey, you're gonna have to fucking watch." Uh, I think uh, he didn't understand like who she was to me. I didn't know because I talked to everybody like comics, so I was like, oh, maybe "Because just... like even though I answered it like, hey, this is my girlfriend Tanya,' mm -hmm. uh, apparently he missed that part." <laughs> Mm -hmm. And he was just like, who's this fucking bitch hanging out? And he's just like... <laughs> Did I say that exactly? That, that's awful. Uh, you definitely called her like a bitch jokingly, <laughs> but also disrespectfully. But they here's, the, here's the thing. Take a joke here's the thing. That. Here's the thing. The way that I like defended her to you definitely got her a little slick in the britches and got me a little extra something something. Oh, you want, yeah. you want she threw a little you extra... Want to do she made you know, breakfast. Higher, <laughs> like, Gary, can you go in there and just fucking... Hey, give me a fall guy that can take a punch. We'll practice some stunt. You've, you've directed some films. Do you know stunt stunt fighting? I know a couple of stunt performers. Yeah. Okay, boom. There we go. I'll just walk like Tanya that dresses shit. And you're like, hey, buddy. And I'm going to wing it. She's like, 
No, I want you. I want us all to be friends. So don't do that. Just tell her it was a joke. Oh no, it never. Mind. No, no, yeah, no. Because no, then no. they won't. The, sna- the, the extra points yeah. won't work. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'll be hated for my boy to get some puss. <laughs> I'll just buy her a loaf of bread later. Like, hey, listen, I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> listen, I've brought that. Literally, all would be forgiven. Really? That's, That's how weird. much that bitch loves fucking bread. <laughs> she loves bread. She doesn't buy it because if it's in the house, she'll just smash a whole loaf. Let's get this bread. It's so weird, man. Like a, a loaf of bread, if I don't touch it, is gone in three days. Dude, bread molds in my house. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> like we'll buy different ends of the spectrum. <laughs> no, we'll buy like a loaf, eat half, yeah. of it, and then it goes bad. And it's just like, who, who I'll the buy the, I'll All buy right, the bread. You know, open. I'll take Dude, it out of the cold. bag. I'll this leave it out on the open, counter. Deal and it with just it, bitch. I don't know what happens. Put on a fucking hoodie. I don't care. <laughs> I don't have it's a hoodie. thousand degrees. Do you want my red jacket? Maybe later, babe. Right. <laughs> I don't know. It's just cold, babe. Do you want my jacket? You sweat so much all the time. It's like your body's crying. Well, this is a thermal shirt. To be fair, I shouldn't have worn this. That's fair, I guess. Yeah. After shirt. that college show, dude, you were fucking sweating. Oh I thought I was going to were eat you the yelling most at them? shit. No. Man, you fucking <laughs> killed. You killed. You crushed. Dude, so here's the thing. We, we're doing a college show, and this piece of shit tells me you don't have to be clean. You can cuss. You can do whatever. It's That's all good. That's what I was good. told in the meeting. And then we get in there, and it is all like... F- the faculty it's like 50 year old white people and then there are two eight year old kids there <laughs> and the guy that goes up before me is a goddamn youth pastor doing youth pastor type jokes where like he stops like before he would cuss and then says another <laughs> word and people laugh at that and fucking i'm sitting there with shana and chris and they're both like yeah, you're gonna fucking pop. <laughs> and I'm like, I know. <laughs> like, and he goes, Do you not want me to film it? And I said, No, film this because <laughs> this is gonna be something we can all laugh at later. And then I just managed to pull just enough, like, palatable jokes to, like, a general audience to have a good set. But the entire time, I was just like, I was tap dancing, man. I was fucking, mm, I was right, working right. my ass off just to not. And I made fun of the fact that I was like, as soon as I went up there and started saying like, guys, this is going to be really bad. And I was like, <laughs> just so you know, and I was like, I can't do clean. And I was like, I have, I have like this amount of time for jokes. I have 45 seconds of clean jokes. I have nothing for you. I don't have jokes about <laughs> Fortnite for the children. I don't know what to do. And like when I started talking like that, they just like the kids. They told they the, kids the kids to leave, leave the room, and I was like, <gasps> I was so happy. I was, as soon as I said the kids, I was like, I was about to cry. I was like, my boy, my, boy, my boy's about to shine. Yes, I was and like, I still, I still didn't even do like harsh jokes. I still did, <laughs> for the most part, easy jokes. But did you say, thank fucking God, those motherfuckers are? Oh, I, like I, I was, I felt more comfortable cussing at that point. Nah. I opened up with my kid touching joke i think mm. yes but you just changed it to kidnapping somehow instead of i no longer abduct children <laughs> which was just which was an interesting choice <laughs> because no, i was like because i looked at the kids like see you guys are safe he's right? like yeah you, don't worry you guys are safe i'm reformed yeah i was trying to change and it. people were just like <laughs> i'm like all right chris setting the tone for the night well, I, I was fucking told love it. i was told when you host figure out what you can get away with saying so comics could read the room maybe not <laughs> as the very first thing to come I out of your mouth yeah. Yeah. maybe I don't, I don't back down no it. root root that's like basically that, no lube trying to jam your dick into <laughs> a unlubed asshole Maybe Gotta warm it up a little for this. Maybe. Come on, there's no way you guys weren't enjoying that in the back room, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's no way. But it <laughs> also, I took that as I am going to eat so much <laughs> shit. They hate. They will hate me. They will hate me so much. I literally told everybody, like, let me just say what I can say, and then just don't do what I do if it doesn't work. And you guys did great. Surprisingly, Jesus Christ. Xavier killed. Xavier did very well. Oh, uh, was that the night he did like fifty minutes or whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, it's every. What's thing. interesting is that I realized that I think I'd heard almost every joke, Everything and you don't think right, about right, that. Right, yeah, right, like, you I don't do. think about that, but you're like, yeah, I think I've seen almost all of these. Well, there's so many like Inception levels of Dream World in his 
closer. Oh and yeah. There's uh, <laughs> a lot of his stuff can be expressed. Are you talking about the cat upon. joke? Yeah. Where he yeah, says, yeah, and yeah. then I woke up like four different <laughs> times in the same joke. <laughs> yeah. Like, talking shit about you, Xavier. What's up? <laughs> remember that. Remember I that like one it. time. It's remember that one time you told the Nigolo joke. Fucking. Twice in the same set when you were headlining. Are you allowed I'll to say that? that? Are you? It's a guy's to name. That? It's the guy's name. His now, name is Now it's not true because he always says. No, that. it is. It's one hundred percent true. Why? Why? Where is this guy? Why does it not come out anymore? I think because of his name. But it's funny. Like he uh, to me, wasn't. like that's his name. That's his name. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tap dance around a fucking last name. That's crazy. That's if, crazy. If you had a funny last name as a comedian, why would you not? Because he probably he doesn't feel at, comfortable saying it. He probably sucked. <laughs> at, he probably sucked as a comic. Well, I mean, I don't. If you have yeah, the I last name Nigel, Xavier, Lou, next you, time you see me, tell me if this guy sucked or not. Oh, yes, he probably did. <laughs> Nigga, no. Nigga, no. Yeah. See, now that I can't say, right. but the name I Nigga, can say. Oh? <laughs> that actually sounds like a legitimate Asian name because there, oh, there, there are Asian names like, <laughs> it's, like it's, it's pronounced like <laughs> Nya, but like N G A is yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. And when these oh, nigga, nigga, oh, too strong. <laughs> Fight another day. <laughs> That's an anime where it's just a, a fucking racist caricature of a black guy. There are so are many, racist. there's oh, so many anime? racist caricatures of black <laughs> people just in black the fucking dudes anime. That are bald with big fucking pink lips. They're all fucking <laughs> Mr. Racist. Popo. Mr. Popo. There's a black character in One Punch Man, the buff dude. <laughs> yeah, he has big pink lips. Yeah, they they really fucking go went wild. They got a gay angel fighter. Oh yeah, where he's just basically he's trying to like rape men, and he's one of the heroes. Yeah, he, he he's a, a hero that he spends a significant locked. portion of his time trying to rape men. And he's in jail because he's comfortable there. Do you remember that he had to break out of jail to fight the lizard king? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? I think he's in jail for raping men. <laughs> that's not jail to him. I was like, he could break. It's out like that's time. literally the number one punishment he was hoping for. It's just like, please send me to prison. Please send me to prison. Please send me to prison. No death Sounds penalty. Like anime life. To me. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good show. Man. Some wild shit. I've been burning through Naruto. I still haven't watched it, man. I want to watch One Piece, but there's like over like what's like a thousand episodes. Yeah, yeah. I think I just gotta put a limit on. I think Helsing Ultimate was one of the best ones I've ever seen. That one was awesome. You heard a monster? Huh? Monster? Mm-mm. It's very dramatic. It's a art house shit. It's very good. Okay. It's an anime. Well, describe it, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> He's like, you ever heard uh, of that one movie that's good? It's it's, good. Ca- it's kind of like a uh, Hannibal. There, it's about a doctor and this uh, serial killer that like he's trying to catch over the course of many years. But it's very, very, very well done, and it's not a very... doctor's trying to catch a serial killer. Yeah, it's not really weebish. It's not. Uh, no. It's not any of that. I, I've anime heard that bullshit. word before with anime, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> a weeb? Yeah, what does it uh, mean? That's, that's the, 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 the culture of the, the people that wear the tails and the, the maid outfits and go to the. Oh, that's the. That's really the like, that like anime. Do you want to go blackface to Comic Con and say we're black anime <laughs> 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 that, I'm Mr. Popo. What's the problem, dude? <laughs> Popo! <laughs> I'm a weeb. I'm a weeb. I'm a nerd. I don't know what? the social. I, know. I, I don't know the social. Anime. I mean, white people dress up as Asian. But I'm you not be able, racist. You be able I to love black. anime. I'm probably on the spectrum. <laughs> oh, I bet you there's definitely at some point been like somebody on the spectrum that didn't understand that blackface was not acceptable and just really loved a character oh, and wanted to be them. <laughs> Ma, I need shoe polish. For what? Just some kid. Comic Con, mom. Ah, just some kid with fucking Asperger's comes out in the Black Panther Halloween outfit and blackface, and they're like, "Hey, Rodney, um, you're gonna have to take the makeup on." But but then I won't look like Black Panther. Dude, there was a great comic. Or comic just keep the helmet on, buddy. Just keep the helmet on. Just keep the helmet on, buddy. There was a comment where some white woman said that, like, I guess. They were trying to talk about if like you're allowed to dress up as an Indian for Halloween. 
like with the feathers. She's oh, like, yeah. I think that's not appropriate. It's cultural. It's something you're stealing yeah. someone's culture. Appropriation. And then like someone commented, like, hey, I noticed you let your son dress as Black Panther. <laughs> 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 and then I was like, no, and she didn't respond. And everybody and then I got a, a thousand likes. Like, hey, your son was Black Panther. <laughs> that's different. Couldn't help but notice. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice. Your son was Black Panther, and he's a and white not boy. even the the character. He was in like the beret and had the black gloves. He's the guy. He was with a Black giant- Panther. They're from the 60s. He's the, he's the guy with the giant dish in his lip and the ears and the bones in his ears. This character from the Five Bloods. Can you imagine dressing up as that character? Like, no, he's in Black Panther. It's just a different guy. No, he was a literal Black Panther. <laughs> a literal Black Panther. What if a kid probably looked like he was in blackface for dressing like an actual like Black Panther, like the animal? Oh, He's like covered in fur and just blackface paint. And they're like, that shit's not acceptable. He's, He's, like, like, He's, He's like, no, no, no. no. He's dressed up as an animal. I, can you get away with it if you're doing an animal? Oh. I feel like an animal Dude, people let's put you in blackface and put you as a cat. Just give you some cat ears. It'll look adorable. Yeah, if you put on cat ears, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder where the line is. I wonder. You could probably playfully dance around it a little bit. Not, a, not as a grown man, because you know what you're not doing. Not as a grown man, no. But as, a, as, a, as someone with a son who can get away with it, I might do that shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, he's adorable. He's but your boy. son is part black as he well, so it's fine. He doesn't look it, though, yet. I mean, yeah. When he, he gets older, they get scary as they get yeah. older, but he looks like a little... Yeah, because you don't let him outside, so he doesn't. He hasn't seen the sun yet. But <laughs> he, he does yeah. go outside. He's just light-skinned. He's just light-skinned. We're very light people. Skinned is one syllable, buddy. He's light skinned. Light skinned. He's light skinned. Hey, I'm not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say skinned. If, if if we say skinned, it's racist. We can, it really? we, we're allowed to say light skinned, but if we say light skinned, that's appropriate. How is that racist? <laughs> See, sometimes I agree with white folks, man. I think you guys should be allowed to say certain things. That's just my own. I don't know. Maybe I'm just built differently, dog. That's gotta be the rain. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you are built like an <clears throat> Asian woman. The right rooms exist. When Scully's existed, that was that was the right room. I, I said slurs on the Scully's stage. What, what slurs? What slurs did you say? I'm not gonna say it now. Here, I mean, are you, like, are you slurring your words like how you are now? <laughs> <laughs> I slurred a little bit on stage. Yeah. I would love to see Eric just drop an end bomb on stage, like a one liner. That would be wild. Oh, Eric, I'd buy you a shot. <laughs> Once you get out the well, hospital, the, uh, I'll the, buy you a shot. <laughs> the Cap City guys were were using one like a lot during their little like inter interlude or whatever. Oh, uh, why? Hold on. So you're fine with saying it, <laughs> but here you're gonna pretend. <laughs> Like, well, I, oh, I wouldn't into a microphone. You've already said it into a microphone. <laughs> and then it, it went into the ether. And, it, it was, it and then it was gone. There was yeah. no video evidence. How no many evidence. viewers do you think we have? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we get, like, I got really excited recently because our, our views started going up a little bit. And then I found out that it's just Chris oh, yeah, re-watching I really, I really and laughing at it. <laughs> we went. We were on our way back down to the show and he starts playing our podcast and making Xavier and Shayna listen to it. I was like, turn Fuck the shit uh, off. Fuck this them. is the highest Fuck level them. of douche. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, you know it what? is. No, you know what sucks is they talk about You guys want to hear how funny we are? But the thing it's is they the talk equivalent... about how funny our podcast is, but they're like, I don't remember that part. Well, then, bitch, let's bring it back up. It's like a shitty, no, wait, wait. shitty actor <laughs> bringing Williams people back, back to their apartment and playing <laughs> their reel for them. Like, right, oh, right, you want right, to say, right, oh, right, sorry, right. I was studying my lines earlier. Did you want to watch it? Oh, Eric, just check this right, out. Right, Early has been about be, comedians inviting comedians to You asked to be on the podcast. I'm assuming you've shows. seen some of our episodes, right? Yes, yeah, I saw the Jeff Adol episode. The worst nice. one, okay. There's a lot better ones than that one. Right. No, that was a solid episode. I stand by that. That was very funny. Je- and Jeff Ladala cannot or... say the word apothecary. It was hilarious. That's true. I stand by. can't say a lot of words, for one, because he's, he's different. Different? That's he's what spe- you're going to go with? He's different? He's special. Man, different. He's, he's from down south. He's from down south. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That was a joke by my other podcast host. He's from down south. You know, they have it looks big, like he's from down south. They, you know, mm-hmm. down south, they have those big fat tongues and little bitty eyes. <laughs> Dude, um, I'll, I'll have to pull it up later and show you. I saw 
the two most attractive people with we Down syndrome. Down in Kentucky. And you're like, dude, they look normal from a distance. Oh, like, oh, like yeah. <laughs> I was like, they look like like you can barely notice. And dude, I didn't realize that that was a... like, Dude, if you're walking up to him from a distance, like, hey, this dude's normal. No, he's not. And, <laughs> and the dude was in, like, good shape, too. The the dude was, like, in good shape. And I was like... Yeah, they could get... They could, they're, they're buff. This is pretty frequently. I I've never like... seen a buff person with Down syndrome ever in my life. You can't lift Ever. your IQs. You must go lift weights. They're stocky. They have strength, but they're, they're not stuck. ripped. Okay. <laughs> Look at me so accusatory. Like, I'm, I'm just saying. That, that dude with Down syndrome, he looks good. He, like, he, he's <laughs> definitely, like, he's the bully on the short bus. <laughs> yeah, it's, like he's the, it's like he's the fastest person in the Special Olympics. He would be. Yeah, I guarantee oh, that kid that, would. He point. would dominate. Not, not the point he like the if they have Olympics. basketball, no, he I would wouldn't. be dunking on people. <laughs> he he'd be talking shit to like put like slamming his nuts <laughs> in their face at, as he's dunking. I'm just saying. I about, didn't come here to make friends. Like if, I was, <laughs> if my mom was like, "Hey, you're gifted and you have Down syndrome. I want you in the Special Olympics." I didn't come here to make friends, you <laughs> pussy. I'm just saying that the Special Olympics is stupid because it does. Stay doesn't... out of the fucking paint unless you want to get dunked on, faggot. Bitch. <laughs> my, my thing is though, like the Special Olympics. Even if you win the Special Olympics, they're not going to be in a subway commercial. Like they don't put them on TV. For oh, me. they definitely would put them in. They're they're in vaccine commercials. That's I have a joke about it. Not the same as a subway commercial for winning a medal. Well, here's the thing: they have to change their image because they had a pedophile as their main dude right, right. for years and years. I wouldn't put Down syndrome for my. <laughs> I am saying they want to have like a different image. Down syndrome would be a much better way to go than pedophile. I would not eat that sandwich. They're just like, using oh, them God. to sell sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Just let me give you. Over. Let me give you a. Would you rather? Would you rather have Down syndrome or? You had to touch a kid's balls once. Touching those balls, dude. You're ta- you're gonna molest a kid <laughs> yeah, over having man, Downs, dude, dude. If that kid, if that kid's cool <laughs> later on in life, that's, that's you gotta understand. If you have Downs, you're always happy for the most part, and people take care of you. You don't have to do anything. Well, how about but how, I have how about Down this? syndrome? I want to be able to like. Would you lose an enormous amount of weight? Only <laughs> you had to turn out to be a sexual predator. A defined sexual predator. <laughs> so if you, do you want to be Whatever Jared, fuck Jared Polo Polo if, if you're If you're talking about, like, me in, <laughs> as a 19-year-old, then yes. But no, no. So, like, like literally like a pedophile. <laughs> I guess. Is that what Jared was? Would you suck a little kid's dick or shoot your mom? How much weight face? do I lose? Am I, like, ripped? Am I, like, shredded? <laughs> you look like... I mean, enough that when you hold out your old pair of pants, it's, like significant no, no no i need to know does my body look <laughs> awesome you look like a you're, you're like a ripped where is rear is ripped as this retarded person that you saw on the street the other day <laughs> <laughs> but it's still in a video in, in a, a video because it was it was a dude and a girl and they were like dancing it was like some dance and they were like <laughs> i was looking oh, at the, the dance they were doing was power ranger moves yeah, and it was doing... awesome. And I was looking at the girl, and Chris and I were both thinking the same. They were like, "I was like, I mean, I, I mean, wanna... <laughs> I want to want to find out." It was like they were. They looked as though like you could be one or two sentences in before you go, "Oh shit!" Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't know right away. That's good for them. But nah, uh, if you're telling me out. I'm like shredded, like I'm like, yeah, like he's going back. Yeah, I'm, will, I'm yeah. willing to, I'm willing to sacrifice a couple kids for that. I'm willing to say. Uh, you look like uh, first Rocky movie. So let's just tell him first. Rocky. First Rocky movie he wasn't that ripped. Okay, then he's just wearing lots of sweaters. Yeah. Zac Efron, like five years ago. Jumanji one, shredded. Jumanji one. Listen, there is Zac Efron. there is no limit to the number of children I would. Go through. Oh, wait, I get to keep my same height though, right? Because he's same he's height, and short. you get his face in his body, dude. I will tear <laughs> through children <laughs> the way my girlfriend tears through bread. I mean, I anyone know, right. that you put in front of me, I'm going through them until there's no more left. I'm gonna wear a little boy like a condom. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm ripping through asshole. I am going but through boy butt. To, well, you only have to do. One. I am you only destroying have to do one. boy butt. You only have to do one. Is this a bread allegory? One, one kid. Oh, then fuck it. This deal is so done. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I would have a monthly subscription if I had to. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the boy of the month club. <laughs> 
I guess I should have asked like that. To like, follow up with you, yes, me too. <laughs> you would have been accused. Do I get to have his hair and beard as well? <laughs> and you don't get caught. Oh my god! Yes, a thousand and the kids times. Yes. Grow up to be gay. Listen, I would just take like little kids that I knew were assholes. There's like a few kids that I have in mind that like I want to like like smack because they're pieces of shit, and I would make them be the kid. I hope you never get accused of raping a child ever, because this is really bad. I also hope that, for the record, I also <laughs> hope I never get accused of raping a child. Yeah, for this reason, I don't hope... Either. There's what about some you? pretty <laughs> damning evidence on this podcast. You know, personally, I'm against it. <laughs> what, I, what, would, what would it take I, for I, you? I, if you want to know my real opinion, I, I, I am against pedophilia. Oh, I know awful. I know it's a risky stance to take in these times, but I don't like it. I don't I am, for it. I'm only against pedophilia because these type of deals don't ever come up about it. That's yes. <laughs> if, there were these, if there was a genie offering this shit out, though, I don't know how much it It was just be. like... like you, I mean, that's a fucking deal. I mean, that's What about a, you, Eric? What would it take for you to just rip into a young boy? Would, like a would, I, would I take the... What would they have to <laughs> offer you before you're like, all right, one kid? Well, first, okay, is it that you actually fucking kid and are not caught or like everybody... Finger think, a butthole. Everybody thinks that you did, but you didn't. No, you you do it. You, you do, do it, it and nobody knows. I don't want to do it. You know. It's only you and that sweet little boy. <laughs> you know what? I'm against it. Man. What <laughs> I, I decline. What? You have to <laughs> fuck a kid in the ass. Or your whole For fa- what? Or your whole family or dies. Or my whole family dies. Yes. And the little boy is a bully. Mm. It, the little boy is the boy in the collar mine shooting him before he grows up. Oh, oh that's making it interesting. You, but what? So hold on. I've now we're in a time Colin paradox because what if this is I what caused, caused him to be the shooter? Oh shit! Okay, young Hitler. He fucked the, mass the worst, murder into that little boy's butt. Worst twenty ever. You gotta fuck an eight-year-old Hitler in the ass. Go back in time. He's gonna be Hitler no matter what. Mm-hmm. He's but gonna he do might, what he does no matter he, what. But, but. But don't say you're Jewish as you're doing it, because we don't know the outcome of what would happen to that. I mean, get a, base, get a haircut before I do it. Yeah, definitely, I was going to say, definitely yeah. wear a ball cap. I don't know. That actually, I think you should call, show up to him in a fucking yarmulke <laughs> and some fake curlies. You should probably ears. fuck him blackface. <laughs> a little curly cute sideburns. I have. What would it take for Eric Boss? Full on Hasidic outfit. Why do you want to know that? So because bad. everybody has their limit. <laughs> if you fuck young Hitler in the ass, then the Holocaust never happens. Would you do it? <laughs> to save six million lives? Yeah, yeah, it would. See, there, so you're a pedophile. You're sick. <laughs> so now we know that you're willing to do it. Now we just got to negotiate. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now we're bar- now we're haggling. Now we're haggling. <laughs> okay, three million Jews. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, three million Jews. I don't know if I. One and a half million. Honestly, six million Jews seems like almost not enough. They're they're doing very well. Mm. What was you know, the state they, of the They be? own the Constitution and everything. If it was they twelve million Jews, I'm like, I'll consider. It. I might jerk them off or something. Jerk them off. Yeah, but like if it's twenty million, then Jews? it's helping the guy out. You don't want to help the guy out. That's just jury, jury duty. Jury what? duty? What? Jury is when How about you know, jury recording? Duty? Is it yeah, recording now? Is it better? Is it... Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. We did it again. Man, I'm a fucking horse shit. Sorry for the delay. Deal. Anyways, as you were saying, so Basa, what, what made you want to <laughs> fuck kids to save the Jews? <laughs> uh, when you just asked me, I hadn't really thought about it up until now. So you do have a limit, though. Okay, but I didn't realize I had the option. We all have the option, really. <laughs> Would you fuck one kid to save 20 Jews? No. But like 20 people are going to get murdered. Right in front you... of you, and they're good Jews. They're not the, they're the good ones. I would ask them. I think technically you if you... ask the Jews, like, I think, are you a good Jew? I think <laughs> I technically you yes. if they you lie. don't, it's a hate crime. <clears throat> I don't know, they, but they want to make the sacrifice. And the little boy has... Uh, he's not going to live long. Why he's not? A, oh, so oh you're saying get... like it's a make a wish kid? Yeah, so he's not gonna be around long. Instead, forever. this is like a make a nightmare and program. And he's telling you, he's like, <laughs> and, and then and to make it more interesting, this is his make a wish. Molesta wish. Yes. He wants it. If, if he, he wants, wants it, it, if he wants it, the kid it. wants it. Yes. The kid, it that's what I said. It's his make a wish. His make a wish is to get. It's little in the Milo air. Yiannopoulos. <laughs> like he's totally cool with being molested. <laughs> Like he's already been in the Boy Scouts. He knows how it works. He's just like, That's almost worse, isn't it? It's almost worse because, like, imagine a little kid, like, your 
you're molesting, and you already don't want to be doing this, and this kid's just throwing it back on you. He's just like, yeah. He's like, is that all you got, you fucking pussy? Like, ah. It's like, fuck me till I bleed. You're like, Jesus Christ, what happened to this kid? He's like, my pastor fucks harder than that, you little pussy. Like, your dick is way That's smaller nice. than my uncle's. You haven't listened to many of our episodes, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the jail. Uh, yeah, this is not this fine. is not out of the realm of it, normal for us. <laughs> this doesn't mean I have to like it. This Shit. is a clean episode. <laughs> I think we're being very clean. On this we are not. <laughs> We've definitely never brought up pedophilia as much as I think we should have. Yeah, but. Well, that's just because I'm mm. trying to keep the cops off my trail. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't called me a faggot five times by now. Like, this is a relatively <laughs> clear not, ver- not verbally. Right, no. right, right, right. right. And here's fine. the thing. It's only fun. Not if, to if, my face. Yeah, if, <laughs> <laughs> behind your back while you're on stage Another changing episodes. my voice so you think somebody else said it. Yes. But no, it's not fun unless people like enjoy joking back and forth. Mm, right. So, like, Chris and I enjoy really dark shit. So I say fucked up shit to him, and he says fucked up shit to me. But if you're around somebody that doesn't enjoy it, like, what's the fun? It's weird. (laughs) It's just like, it's just like you say, bah, 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 Hitler, Hitler, bah, bah, bah. (laughs) And they're like, you're like, oh, this isn't, this isn't fun for you. And you hear me in the background, like, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. (laughs) Ha! Hitler. (laughs) (laughs) He was an interesting man. Turned Hitler into a What pickle. do you think Hitler would have done if he got into art school? Mm, you think he still would have Probably been paint. Do you think he would have became like a... Imagine Continued like in a paint. different reality where like we're buying his artwork because like, he was the next Picasso and he was fucking great. Yeah. Like, is that a Hitler? That's fucking... And there is only one world war. Only one? Oh, no, we would have had another one, man. Americans, we're thirsty for fucking... We need... Mm. We would, it'd be happening probably right now, but... Right. Would Vietnam be World War II? Yeah, that would suck no, because it, it was just it was the just music America. would be crazy. It was just oh, America. Yeah. Would be a good World uh, War Two probably would have been the Cold War. Uh, yeah, there's so many alternate the, histories. There's the Man in the High Castle. There's the Inglorious yeah. Bastards. Why do we fantasize Wolfenstein? about? Ooh, yeah. can we do a World War Three scenario? <laughs> who's in this one? Mecha Hitler. Like, who's Mecha, Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> Mecha Hitler. Who would be in World War Three? Who would be the bad guy? I feel like it'd be us. No. Oh, it's gotta be us. It'd like, be like somebody you didn't expect. Sri Lanka. Oh, Sri Lanka. Sri, Sri Lanka's program. going against the world. Canada. I didn't even know you guys had internet. What is going on? <laughs> no, it'd, yeah, it'd be like that or like Thailand or somewhere. Like, why the fuck are they trying to fight everybody? Nah. Thailand's not gonna fight. Too many Americans don't go down there and fucking keep their economy rolling. There's no reason to fucking... Then who would be the next? Like, would it be North Korea? Honestly, it's going to be yeah, Korea, uh, China, Russia. Like that's the scenario. I would hate to go to North Russia because like the shit that's going on in North Korea, somebody should put a stop to, but they're not. What's going on there? I thought they all have food and they're happy and stuff. I've seen the interview. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we believe. That movie almost caused World War Three. Yeah, they weren't allowed to release it in that's theaters. That's fucking insane, man. Oh, the uh, what, the interview? A comedy. Yeah. A comedy, a, a comedy movie. And they made him look caused. fun. Yeah. They made him look like a fun guy. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. They made him look like a guy that pretends to be fun. They should have. Fuck North Korea. I started now. We should go to war with you guys. Just to show you what We really like. should. You know like, what? honestly. It's Fuck like, North Korea. He's Fuck literally Korea. committing, like, genocide and, like, he let human uncle, rights violations all the time. He let his uncle get eaten by dogs. That's insane to me. Yeah. The young one or the old one? No, that was an accident. Is he accidentally fed his dogs the wrong person? Mm. Is this oh, okay. Is Jung Un or Jung Il that did Instead this? Instead of Kibbles and Bits, it's Kim Young and Bits. Un? Kim Un and Bits. Fuck North Korea. I'm Ill. listening in no, the army, No, it was bro. ill. It was ill. Ill. My mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Fuck the Nazis, too. Well, they're not a problem. Hey, right now. They're not easy, a, they're easy. Not, they make up a significant <laughs> amount of your of audience. Our subscribers. <laughs> they, they, uh, they buy we, a lot we of, do not stand by his. <laughs> <laughs> they buy a lot of merch. Um, uh, I, yeah, I mean, our I fucking our swastika t-shirts have been fucking flying <laughs> off the <laughs> shelves. <laughs> Say what you want. They got good money. They got good money. The check's always clear. But fuck no. I okay. 
I'm going to argue with that. Definitely, I think <laughs> if you have to pick a group of people that have the least money, I'm going to go oh, with I Nazis. Not. Nazis <laughs> have the no, 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 clan no, no, no. members, and Nazis no, no, have no. the least money out of any group. They have the least group. money, but the money they do spend it on shit they believe. Yes. They, oh, okay, yes. They have plenty of no, ammo. They will live in a trailer. No, they have plenty of ammo and dried Nazi food. Gold. They will live in a trailer, but have the most expensive dry cleaning bill for their white fucking clan sheets. So Those sheets are crisp. It's like they That's buy true. a new one every time. Why is that? The fucking Nazi uniform was pristine, and the robes were fucking pure white and crisp. <laughs> And honestly, that? if you look at the Nazi uniforms, if there wasn't such hatred behind it... Not Are you thinking of Star Wars? Huh? Were they white? That's plastic, The clan robes. The clan robes. I thought you were talking about Nazis. <laughs> no, Nazis, no, they were not right, right. white. They were gray Wouldn't and Wouldn't Stormtroopers be like the Nazis of space? And red. Oh, yeah, yeah, That was pretty explicit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, it was, it was an allegory. Like yeah, yeah. And they were white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then their leader was black, so it kind of... Right, right. That. and his voice was James Earl Jones, which is black. That oh, George but Lewis his face was, was David message. Prowse, which is white. So yes. why did they do that? James Earl Jones is really fucked. Because have you ever seen like the clips James where Earl they played like the face? original actor's oh, yeah, voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh, thank yeah, God they got yeah, yeah, James yeah. Earl Jones. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> it's just like a bitchy British mm-hmm. voice. They were gonna make Darth Vader British. It's like, find the girl and report yeah. back to me. They're gonna <laughs> but it's muffled because he's talking through the map. Find the girl and report back to me <laughs> immediately. Sounds like a gay flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> a gay British flight attendant. <laughs> We will be landing in Burbank in approximately 45 <laughs> minutes. Enjoy. I, I, I genuinely want to know if there are a lot of straight male flight attendants. There's like probably three. Um, um, do you think I can be I the guy? I don't think I've ever seen one now think, that I'm thinking think about I can it. Be they the might guy? start off as straight. Do, you go for it, man. Yeah. You want to be a flight attendant? No, wait. I thought you said straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's funny. <laughs> I think they're all. Why is that? It's interesting. I don't know. It's it's being it's still we do a little bit. It's no. You know, I have seen I have seen one. No, I have seen a straight no. flight a straight male flight attendant. Was he like cool? Was the was pilot like cool helping guy? You out with the pilot? Whoa, whoa, what was that? Are you asking me if he's black? What, what was that? Was he like a cool cat? <laughs> was he a cool, cool jazz guy? man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> was he a bad man with jam and serving peanuts? And to answer your question, yes, he was. <laughs> oh, he, he was probably gay. Mm-mm. Probably gay. No, Black I can't get that they're energy. They're that heavy, dude was fucking he, 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 really, the really stupid. A, a black man knows how to hide their gayness pretty fucking well. No, that dude, that dude was fucking straight, straightest black like Chris Johnson, like really up in your face, <laughs> like. I think it's fair to say Chris Johnson might be the straightest black in Columbus. No, Mr. Olsen. <laughs> he's been banned off of four Facebook accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so straight, I keep losing Facebook accounts for hate speech. He is the straightest, <laughs> straight he is the straightest black man I've ever met in my life, I swear to God. I'm so straight. I've disowned several family members. That's how fucking straight I am. He's he's he he's on parole on Facebook. I've never heard of that. <laughs> he has a PO for Facebook. <laughs> never seen that shit. Uh, when you get active warrants on the internet, that's concerned. It's, uh, it's fucking weird. It's uh, what bothers me about Facebook is when I'm talking shit to my friends and it's it gets labeled as like bullying or hate speech. Whoa. I got I got one shut down cuz I called my friend white trash. Mm. And uh, like I would like my Facebook was shut down for 24 hours. And I was like, "We're if we're both white, white trash should be definitely in the clear." Then they got to stop letting my friends call each other niggas in the comment section then. See, this is why people think I'm weird. It's our word. Listen, the I grew N-word? up white trash. Oh, are they talking I get this. Yeah. Like, like, wait, what? Uh, I mean, to be uh, fair, originally it was. All right, all right. <laughs> Whiskey all right. Tango, right? Yes, there you go. I'm just gonna go with. I'm gonna say it in Spanish. I don't know. I don't know the Spanish word for trash though. Uh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> 
First off, it would be Ladala. Puerto Rican. It's Ladala. Oh, it's Ladala. <laughs> Ladala. Now we're going back Ladala to Ladala Blanco. Now we're going back to Ladala. <laughs> so from now on, Ladala Blanco is code for white trash. <laughs> or bad comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I suck. Ladala Hacko. <laughs> Ladala Hacko. Blanco Hacko. I'll rest in peace to Jeff. R.I.P. The great Jeff Ladala. Play that in the, six the months. The great white Come hack. back and watch this in six months. You'll know what I'm talking about. He's the only person that like people consistently are like, I can't. I'm gonna miss him when he's dead. Like, yeah, he just am. he's definitely gonna die, and it's Dude, going to what? be soon. When I went to his house to pick him up that night, he has like, legitimate <laughs> health problems, and like people are like, no, 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 he's no. Fine. I'm like, Eric, Jeff, you're invited though, to my wedding, and Jeff is like, definitely gonna fucking be dead. I tell dead. Jeff like, when I have my wedding, dude, it's gonna suck. I can't have you there. If man. Jeff outlives you, I will be shocked. <laughs> I will be absolutely shocked. I will be beside myself. Dude, my gr- grandma is 95 years old. No shit. Got the genes, like, just more healthy than my mom and me. It's, like, great. It's like you guys, the, your mom's the, lying the, about some adoptions. The genes are, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, his grandma's black. He's like, I think. <laughs> he's like, I think That's where he got his curly hair. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell my, I was raised black, right? <laughs> it's not even, I'm not even joking. <laughs> that night I had to go pick Jeff up after he called me, cussing me out to give him a ride. I show up at his house, and nobody answers the door. And I know he's up there, because he always leave, he doesn't leave his window open, and he never locks his doors. But he locked it that night. I'm like, he's probably still fucking here. I left, and I thought, oh, God, what if he overdosed on this couch? What if he's up there, too? And you know how <laughs> fucked up my mind is? It's like, I'm going to leave, but I'll just wait till tomorrow until I get a phone call. <laughs> Like, I didn't even care. I was like, you know what? It was about time. Well, every time your phone rings, you're like, oh, here it is. Then he texts me this morning like, hey, bro, I'm good. I'm like, all right. Bro. Every time I get a phone call from an unknown number, I assume it's the phone call letting me know that Jeff Ladala has passed. No, it, 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 don't worry. It's going to be me calling you. Cause I, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I came to check on him after three weeks, and he's dead. <laughs> The cops thought his body was like bloated and swollen from the decay, but that's just how he looked. Yeah, he was, was like, only no, dead for two hours. hours. <laughs> he was dead for two hours. They're gonna walk in his house like it stinks. Oh my god, he's been dead. Like, like oh no, my no, no. god, there must be some parasite. It looks like he's, the... he's swollen like slither. He's about to explode with parasites. Call like, the no, coroner. Like when's the last time you saw him? I was here like an hour get, ago. Get the coroner here. I was like, yeah, no, I was with him an hour ago, man. This is this is Jeff. Man. His teeth look like he's been dead for weeks. <laughs> nah, man, that's just Jeff, dude. He's good. motherfucker. Motherfucker has George Washington's wooden teeth. Those things are disgusting. <laughs> His teeth are the color of my fucking bookshelf. He has wrong turn. He has he has the wrong turn mouth. They're very bad. <laughs> wrong turn mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's mm-hmm. disgusting. He looks like he would star in the film The Hills Don't Have Teeth. The Hills Don't Have Teeth, also known as The West Side. <laughs> the Hills Have the, Cross the Eyes. The Hell Top Story. <laughs> oh, we love Jeff. He's a um... The Hills Have Gingivitis. <laughs> <laughs> The hills have diabetes. I'm gonna say that, goddammit. The, the hills have obesity. <laughs> the hills have heart and liver failure. <laughs> Jack and Joe went up a hill. It was Jeff's body. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know who couldn't make it up the hill? Jeff, you fat fuck. Oh <laughs> I hope you do not die soon, because this would be Hilarious. Oh, right, right, right. It All would right. just be like I put together the click and upload at his, and his funeral was just a compilation of people shitting on Jeff. Oh, it's like we loved him so much. With in the arms of the angels in the playing in the, the background. It has to be all slow motion, like at the end we're just laughing about his death. You know what, Jeff, don't die soon. Or Eric. None of you guys Jeff, die. Any hell don't die. You gotta live, man. Live for you. He's not going to live very much longer. Dude, I, I, <laughs> if you're telling me he's got to live, you got to tell him to take better care of yourself. As long as you got to live, Jeff. People. Slow down on the drinking and walk places. You don't want to drive. Fine. Start walking to My fucking thing bikes. Is I walked has... from Upper Arlington to Clintonville today. Why? Why? I just felt like it. I could. How far is that? Mm, I don't know, man. Like four to six miles, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
You know, there's like Uber. It's not 92. Like, you could have took a bus. How broke are you, bro? You could have called me. No, and and it's crazy because, like, the bus, like, literally goes uh, to North Broadway where I'm at. But, like, when there was. The number two. Uh, no, number 32. Oh, the number, number, no, the number two goes, what does the number two go up, Indiana? On the high street. Oh, the high street. Yeah. That's right. but, I rode the bus uh, in a while because I'm not yeah. I'm it, better than It was guys. too much of a way. I was too impatient for the next bus. So I was just walked it. I guarantee you. If you and Jeff should do that. Jeff will never walk. Jeff will always be alive because he has something to look forward to every year. Mm. As long as McDonald's keeps doing that McRib once mm, a year, right, we right, will right. always have Jeff. Without the bones. With the well. Man, you... Fucking, I just noticed, Eric closes his eyes like fucking Jabba the Hutt in Return of the Jedi, <laughs> where he's just like oh. half asleep when they're coming back in, and he's just, oh, 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 solo. Oh. You talk like a fat, oh. you talk like a fat, you boss. <laughs> oh, we got to get the oh. oh, come here. It's like you're taking that. little heroin naps in the middle of your sentence. What the fuck is going on? I just realized, like, I, I, without <clears> even <throat> thinking about it, when I did an impression of you, I always closed my eyes. <laughs> that was great. I did, like, the Ray Charles face. <laughs> <and> the, uh, <laughs> Do you guys hear something? Uh, okay, the chair goes the, up uh, against the yeah. door. Oh, that was, like, a dramatic... Yeah. That sounded like something like a ghost was about to walk in the room. It scared me a little bit. So, deception's true. I am terrified of ghosts, dude. Did you not know oh, that? Dude, black people are terrified of the supernatural. Oh, and magic. <laughs> <But> and <laughs> magic. Which is the same thing to us. Yeah. Like, I am terrified. Dude, I... You ever had sleep paralysis? No. I had it for the first time last year, and I slept with the Bible next to me after that. Dude, <laughs> did you did you see, like, a figure? No, so this is what happened. You just couldn't move? I was sleeping. I sleep. I was sleeping on my stomach, and I had my face near my closet next to my bed, and I woke up, and I heard something drop on my floor. I couldn't move. Then I heard growling. And then I heard, I felt breathing behind my neck. And I kept telling myself, move, wake up, move, wake up, move, wake up. My son is in his crib. And my dog, which dogs are known for uh, catching ghosts, apparently. Because that's why I have a dog. Because mm-hmm. I can sense it, apparently. That's why you got the dog. He was in the living room. So I'm in my bedroom by myself. I'm not moving. Yeah. Oh, that's something outside. Dude, I have my hair. My hair is about to start standing up. Dude, I heard. So I, I, so let me, let me reenact it. Something fell off my ceiling. I heard footsteps. It wasn't like a someone in claws. It was like a German lady. Okay, you do a fucking footstep sound effect, then piece of shit. I can't. I'm trying to help your fucking story. I don't want to reenact. It's scary a little bit. But I'm spilling my emotions. Out That's a really you're lashing out because you don't want to admit that you're a scared little bitch right now. I am, I know, Those I were scared. perfect foot on tile sound effects. It's wood floor. It's wood floor. You're making his irrational fears sound like coconuts. <laughs> it's creaky. It's creaky. A rusty ass wheelchair. It's a wheelchair. I would have. Dude, so I feel handicap accessible version. Of I feel story. the breathing. I feel breathing. On it was my jigsaw. Neck. It was jigsaw. He came up on his old ass tricycle. <laughs> I felt the breathing on my neck. Then I heard the growl. Then I finally moved. Nothing was there. And then I ran to my son's. What room. type of growl was it? Like a DMX growl? It was like a demon growl. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? That's like a Tim Allen. Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? If I heard that, I'd be like, oh my god, it's like a freak DMX concert in my bedroom. No, it was a real... So like uh, the growl, then you were able to move? Growl, breathing on my neck, then finally I was able to move. I turned around real quick. Nothing was there. I run to my son's room. He's okay. My dog's napping on my couch. And I was like, I gotta find a... Because I... I had to like dig through my boxes. <laughs> I think I dig in my boxes and found my Bible I had since I was a kid. I put it under my pillow every night, and it hasn't happened since. I know that's all. That's always what I. But that I used to make like, fun of people. For I'm that never shit. like I. Uh, I make fun of like religious people here and there, and I've never been very religious. But every once in a while, like when you watch like a vampire movie, it's where like, like the conjuring. fact that like a person who truly believes is like the only person that saves me, just for like a little bit while I'm watching that movie, right. I'm like, man, maybe I should just in case, mm-hmm. just in case, I should really start studying the Bible. Mm-hmm. I should really get into the faith, dude. I swear to you, ever since I put that Bible, I have it right next to my bed. I've never had, I've never had sleep paralysis until that time. 
And I thought that show, I used to make fun of people like, you're a fucking, this is a dream. Fucking atheists get fucking worked in those goddamn movies, man. Mm -hmm. They get, they I, do I, I promise you, I swear to God, I think that shit's real. Have it's you them. seen uh, The Exorcist, like, recently? Uh, not recently, but uh, within the last probably five years okay. or so, I've yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen it. It's uh, it was incredible. I've seen movie. all the Conjuring's, which are kind of scary too. Yeah, I'll tell you one of the movies that I watched uh, for the first time recently was Thirty Days a Night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid movie. Was that really movie enjoyed one? it. Uh, vampires in Alaska during the time of year when there's no sun for a full month, that like that suck. insomniac dude. Movie. Like literally, yeah, yeah, they have to hide yeah, yeah. out. Like they can't wait it out till morning. Mm -hmm. They have to try and survive mm -hmm. for a month. Oh man, Move, dude, removing the head or destroying the brain. Blade <laughs> is a day walker. Vacation for Blade. Know, that would be you, work for Blade. Yeah, but it would be fun to have. Like, this is amazing. It's no. unlimited. Uh, yeah, I thought no, they if like, he tried to go on vacation A, a vacation Anchorage, movie, but with the Blade, the Blade family. How funny would it be if Blade went on vacation <laughs> to Alaska during that time of the year, and he's like, ah, oh, they wanted a vacation. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> <laughs> The dumbest fucking line in that movie. I love that movie. I love the first Blade movie so much. It's the best one. It is it is the best one. The but opening I, scene is my favorite scene of all movies. I actually had a dream that it was like a couple weeks ago. I was the dude getting beat up by the vampires. Remember the scene? The well, they're the just shit? kicking like, yeah. the shit out of them before they. Like, in my mind, in the dream, of, as they're doing I'm like, where the fuck is Blade? <laughs> where the fuck is Blade? As they're kicking me, I'm like, I know this Where theme. are you, Blade? Blade! He, he never <laughs> showed up. Where were you, Blade? <laughs> he never, he never, Please, Blade. He never showed up. Please, I Blade. Terrified. I was like, why did you he get You gotta stop him. <laughs> he sounded like the fucking girl from Wizard of Oz. Well, gee, where are you, Blade? <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. I swear to God. As, no, 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 no. I swear to God. This dream... My mind works weird in dreams. As they're kicking the shit out of me, I'm laughing because like, you motherfuckers don't know Blade about to show up. And he never showed up! I woke up like, oh, that sucked. Well, these these <laughs> vampires are just dirty, rotten scoundrels. Hmm. Where are you, Blade? He never, he never showed up. Maybe I woke up too soon, but out of my mind, I'm like, you guys keep kicking me with Blade's about to show up. Wait till my nigga Blade pulls up. You guys don't even know what's about to happen. <laughs> To your bitch asses. Blade is about to come up here and I, fuck you up the ass with his katana. I swear to God, in my dream, I was so cocky. Like, yeah, keep kicking me, nigga, my nigga Blade about to pull up. And then I woke up. I was like, damn, he never, never, never got to me. I never wanted to go back to sleep and continue with a dream so bad. Yeah, because they're just getting beaten up. And they just, yeah, I just woke got, up. I just got beat up in <laughs> I'm covered in blood and I got my ass whooped. And he never came. He never fucking came. And hey, he never fuck came. Fuck you, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> fuck you, Wesley Snipes, you bitch ass. You ain't even a real vampire hunter. And you never once paid for drugs. <laughs> maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe, it was, maybe it was the IRS that was beating the shit out of me. That's why he never came up. He was like, mm mm. Nope. No, 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 no. You on your own, brother. <laughs> some motherfuckers. Some Trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. Dude. <laughs> oh, as you were touching, you said about um Jigsaw. Oh, you like mm. right, roll pulls up like you wanna play. How funny would it be if he's like he just rolls up with his grandkids like you guys wanna play a game? Like we're busy, grandpa. He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh and he just rides away super slow. He goes with his nice grandkid like you want to play it? Grandpa, get out of my room! <laughs> I'd like to play your game. <laughs> Why'd you steal my doll? What are you doing with my doll? What? He always uses a doll. He, he, I he, thought he was a doll. No, Jigsaw's the old. No, he's, oh he's, my he's, god. He's not, you're, he's you're not the doll, that's doll that's man. Not, that's my bad. He's not the doll. He might be doll. one of the dumbest people <laughs> that I know. Jigsaw is the doll, and then the guy who is Jigsaw, that's not his real fucking no. name. It's two different people. No, idiot. He is uses like, the doll to freak is people the, out. He is the Jigsaw it's, killer. Yeah, yeah. But it's, Jigsaw is the doll, and then the guy, whatever it's not real like government. A, it's not Jigsaw like a is Brutus, not the doll. It's, it's not a Brutus Buckeye situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not like... You know what? I'm going to be honest with you, fucking faggots. <laughs> I've only seen one of the movies, so fuck you guys. I don't know enough... Even then, this. you should know. <laughs> I saw it when it came out. I was in fifth grade. I am sorry. Some I'm sorry. Always trying to ice so so, so judging by the posters, there's a doll, there's an old man, <laughs> there's a pig. Chris Toiloy is always trying to ice skate up here. <laughs> yeah, look, he almost turns like a black macho man voice. Like a really all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Bring that vampiric ass here, boy. <laughs> 
Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say that. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. <laughs> He's trying to get me to drop n <laughs> He's like, yeah, say it, yeah, say it, <laughs> say it, pussy. We you won't. Have, are, you good, are you good at spelling, Eric? You good at spelling words? You're the one you're who's gra- you're the one whose grandma friends? was black, so like right, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, got a yeah, fast yeah. to say. They, they're great at, can they're we great start that rumor that his grandma was black? <laughs> I mean, if Brian Harris can say that he's black, I feel like so can you. <laughs> that, dude is, that dude is a soaking wet porter. That dude is, Brian is a soaking wet porter. I like that dude I is not fucking dude. Black. I did this as a fucking joke when he said it. I literally was like, he said that he was black, and I thought he was joking on stage, and I was just looking at him. And so then you do jail time does that mean you're black? And then I can't, and then I was just like, hold on, we can just do that. Well, <laughs> no, I was like, you, we can just no, say that we're black. <laughs> no, you can't. Fuck yeah, I'm I'm black as hell, guys. <laughs> I'm so black. Should we? How write? black are you? I'm so black. I have several illegitimate children that I don't know the names of. <laughs> Don't you see them every day, so you're not that black. Huh? You see them every day, so you're not that black. Yeah, in his heart. <laughs> he sees them in his heart. I do not see them every day. Okay. Is that, who's, I assume, whose nasal spray is that? What is that? Someone you th- you think it looked like a guy who needs nasal spray? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're acting like his dad found our drugs. It's fucking hell. Do I look like somebody who d- needs nasal spray? Do you look like a stereotypical Jew allergic to everything? Yes. I'm yes. Be the good, is the answer to your the question? Good big brother. Dad, it was mine. <laughs> yes. It's not mine. The person that runs the media wearing the shirt of the company that runs the media? I, I don't know. Yeah, Disney has their hands in everything. It's insane. Yes. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're going to unfreeze him here in a, in a bit, here, too. Huh? We're going to unfreeze him here in a bit, too. I don't... That's They say he's actually cremated. <laughs> if you look at No, him, they, they saved his head. They saved his head. What? Have you not seen Futurama? <laughs> oh, then, okay. No, I'm pretty sure the dude's cremated somewhere. He's not coming. We're not... I love that they, like... <laughs> all the original cast of Star Trek was, like, the people that were, like, still alive. That would suck to come back and just be a fucking head. I mean, not if you got to attach it to a body. You won't feel anything, though. There's no penis or vagina or nipples, even. I mean, if you've reached the level of technology where you're bringing back severed heads, I'm pretty sure you can figure out a neural network that will give you the sensation of touch. What if you did connect it to a penis, though? Then I'm a and then connect the, the, yeah, then I, the, the then. penis to a vagina. Wait, like... Yeah. Fucked with it. It'd just be sex, Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what sex. you want, right? No, he's asking what sex is like, I think. He's no... Oh. <laughs> what's, <laughs> it, what's it like, guys? In, in the what's context... It like when you connect a penis? Does it rule? <laughs> is it as cool as all the movies say it is? <laughs> in the context of being a head in a jar... It's the most virgin talk. What's it like when you connect your penis to the vagina? <laughs> What's it like when you plug in your port into the wall of a vagina? You know, you guys. It's, it's like the 40 over. It's like, what are her tits for? Like? <laughs> bag, 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 bag. <laughs> what did her vagina feel like? It was, oh, it was just like when you plug the charger port into the wall. Oh, uh, it's just electricity. And you just see Seth Rogen in the background like, <laughs> what? What? Huh? Dude, yeah. <laughs> Are you a robot? <laughs> what? No. Are you a fucking head in a jar? It's so, it's so funny. You said that was a bike helmet, but... What the fuck? I'm starting to think that you're a head in a jar. <laughs> what? No. Such a great cast of like up-and-coming actors in that movie. Hey, really and cool. a murderer. <laughs> How old were you when you lost your virginity? 16. Same. 19. 19? Okay. Were you saving yourself, or are you just like... I just fat and not oh. socially... Because I know some people like, I was saving myself for God, and I was like, when I turned 20, I was like, this is gay, I'm going to... I was like, I, I am done saving myself right. for God. I knew, um, I was friends with a girl, uh, who I, I hooked up with her just after she had abandoned that shit. She was like 26, and she was saving herself. You were 16 and you made a 26-year-old? No, 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 Oh, no, no. I was about to fucking fist no, no, no. the shit out of you. Oh, no, God, no, out of you. no, 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 no. Um... <laughs> And uh, I had, like, met her just after she had abandoned that. And she was just like, 
She's just like, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm too horny all the time to <laughs> fucking keep waiting. And I was like, no, I get it. I get it. She was probably freaky as shit, wasn't she? She was, yeah. You're, I'll tell you, my, my virginity story's kind of not, it's just, it's. Uh, I, it's not, uh, no thank you. <laughs> oh, that involved, sounds like one we involved, need to hear. It involved a transaction. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a very embarrassing sex story if you give me the, the virginity uh, story. No, no, no. No, I will tell you, I will tell oh, you. Oh, man, I can tell this is a story that I want to hear, too. Can you tell us off camera? Mm-mm. Eric, you fucking faggot! What is what? Was it a dude? Were, yeah. <laughs> like, were you molested? Like, <laughs> was it your black grandma? No, 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 no. <laughs> Eric, I need to know. No. Was it a family? I'm, I'm, ash- I'm, ash- I'm ashamed of it. I don't want to share that. Share. So what? You don't have to tell us who. I'll tell you a story. I one time fell. Oh, was it a hooker? <laughs> no. Oh, then why are you ashamed? What's the... No. How bad is it? How bad is a scale of 1 to 10? No. It's embarrassing it's, for you? It's embarrassing for me. It's bad. Dude, you're a comedian, apparently. Yeah, I thought you were. Yeah, it's, and I haven't found the funny in it yet. I need to find a, a way to talk, talk about it. This is the way. perfect opportunity to practice well, the funny. No. Eric, you're walking home. I need to know this fucking story, dude. <laughs> yeah, you think that walk to Clintonville was right, bad. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> we tell bad Will stories. you at least tell us what Give us an idea of why it's embarrassing Because of who it was with Uh Yeah kind of Fat chick No Did She, have, was she was on <laughs> Not like at the time <laughs> She got it <laughs> later But <laughs> like in general It turns out, it turns out she, I was a carrier and I didn't know it <laughs> She had she had her down syndrome flared up afterwards. <laughs> she had late onset down syndrome. <laughs> you know how your chromosomes be acting up. I can't, I can't, I can't eat that late. You know my chromosomes be acting up. <laughs> No, go on, Eric. I'm sorry. I, I ejaculated an extra chromosome. Oh, into her. if you could spread down, she's a little too Actually, you can, I guess. But the, they were a drug. Off. They were a drug user. And it's like what? They were a drug oh, that's user. Not bad. Never so heard. yeah. So what? Would you pay her and go? You made her. I like, had oh. sex with drug users. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm being broad and not specific. For Heroin? Her. No, no, Meth. no, 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 no. Crack cocaine. Crack. <laughs> cocaine. He laughed at crack. He laughed at crack. It was crack. <laughs> you <laughs> fucked a crackhead. <laughs> that <laughs> rules, dude. Oh, that's a good story, dude. I'm actually. <laughs> I listen to me. I'm telling you. So. We talked about your comedy where, like, you try to maintain zen. When, when have we talked about my comedy? In the, in the ride home after the fucking oh, show Oh, you're not talking about this. What, yeah, yeah, yeah no, right, we, okay. we talked about, like, the <laughs> fact that, like, you try to maintain, like, zen. That's why, like, you chosen, like, this style where you're trying to, like, you know, not, like, ruffle any feathers. You just want to do, like, some silly kind of jokes, which are, like, fun. But you are hilarious when you start saying some wild shit. Mm-hmm. And I think you should lean into this shit, man. Uh, can I ask? I think it, you should try being a little it's not more that, like, of yourself. Intentionally, do, I mean, because I mean, I've, I've got that Cosby bit and the Trebek bit. Yeah, and, like you have that one. How you the angel cuck? Bit. How does it go again? The angel cuck. Yeah, that one where you tell Wait, the are you story. Talking about <laughs> no, like that you tell the story of how you lost your virginity in its entirety. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> That's oh yeah, favorite. yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. Can bit. I ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask? Has her has her body not been found? No, no, no. She, oh. She's around. Is she in? She's, she's on Instagram. No, no, no. It's for um, it's for her privacy's sake. You if don't I, have to say her dude, name. Dude, don't Ooh. say her name and leave out details <laughs> that would identify her. Or just edit out this part. Edit out. Go back. The and only edit detail it, right? I haven't revealed is like what drug it was, and that's just like whatever. Leave it up to. Okay, true. so a drug Ecstasy. user. <laughs> so why are you embarrassed then? Uh, I don't know. Insecurity. It doesn't seem like an embarrassing story. You hooked up you with somebody sex. that used sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeff would love to have a lot of embarrassing all stories. Right, all right. <coughs> I had a girl know. throw up on my dick and keep going, and I didn't <laughs> stop. Her. No, she threw up spaghetti. She mistake. threw up a spaghetti and slurped there? it back up. I was the girl. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was the Asian woman. <laughs> I have an embarrassing story. I one time uh, I have many ones, but this one was uh, I was fucking the girl I'm currently with. 
and I fell asleep on her. <gasps> <gasps> no. Yeah, I woke up and literally 30 minutes later it was missionary too, which is so embarrassing. Mm. And I was like, hey, what happened? She's like, I didn't know how to tell you this, but you've been asleep for like 25, 30 minutes. Were you still in her? Yeah, she's like, you, been, <gasps> you, you were snoring, so I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Do you want to continue? And she's like, no. Dude, fuck mm. no. And she's like, I just want to go home, but I need you to take me home. And that's a very awkward car ride. Mm-hmm. Or it's just like, yeah, because they're was, both they're angry was, at you and self conscious of like, oh, the sex was so boring for you <laughs> that you fell asleep. Dude, no, no, she doesn't understand. I was up for forty two hours before we had sex, and I tried to make it happen, and I just couldn't do. It. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even in her. My dick got soft, and it was out her, but the condom was stuck. Oh my god! <laughs> See, there is no way that your doing? story is what as embarrassing as forty two hours. Dude, Why? That was, I just couldn't sleep, and then I remember this when I was drinking and partying heavily on campus, and then, like, I had to go to work one that, that morning, boy. and then it's like, I came home, and I was like, let's watch a movie, we watched a movie, I was like, let's, she's like, can we have sex? I was like, yeah, let's have some sex, I can do it, and then I just, I, do I got too comfortable, man. It was like eating a warm cookie before bed, dude, <laughs> mm-hmm. fucking totally Hold on, mm-hmm. hold on. Did you just compare falling asleep during sex to eating a warm cookie before no, bed? being in a nice I'm pretty warm sure vagina made me like, I was like, this feels so good. This is like, I feel at home. It's all in the same area, man. I see what he's saying. I get him. It was so comforting. And I was like, I think I, I think I was like, hold on, let me catch my breath. And then I just passed out. <laughs> hold on, let me catch my breath. Yeah, she's like, you were snoring. I was like. Like really I had a loud. <laughs> I had a girl uh, fall asleep. She was actually former guest of the pod, my other podcast, um, fall asleep on me at a party in high school when we were making out. She just passed out from drunkness, and I was <laughs> I was like embarrassed, and I just walked out. And her fr- like because like it was her birthday, and her friends were like trying to get her, and they're like, "Hey, like well, you should like go and make out with her." I was like, oh, "Okay," and like so I went out and was making out with her. And she literally, she passed out, like, on it. And I just got up, and I just walked out of there. Goodbye. And they were like, "What? what's going on? And I was just like, she fell asleep. And I just I walked out been, of the house. See, you have the face to get away with that. I'm like, I think I have to stay in here and act like I fell asleep. Because I don't want them to think I raped their friend. And just no, lost. because we were gone for five minutes. Oh, that's enough time to rape. I agree, but, you know. Honestly, that's almost too much time to rape. No, I think staying in the room with the <laughs> unconscious person definitely is worse than just leaving. So if somebody's in there for six minutes, you're like, hey, there's, there's going to be something wrong. Honestly, that's hey, too much hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How long was long. she asleep? She's like two and a half minutes. All right, there was probably no rape. Oh, but... I could, I could rape it too. <laughs> listen to me, listen to me. What if they made a movie called Raped in 60 Seconds? <laughs> and niggas like, I could do it. <laughs> Innocent, got, innocence gone it, in 60 seconds. I can, I can do it. I can do it. Is it also Nicholas? You gotta Cage? rape 60. You gotta rape 60 women within a time frame. I can do it. Nicholas Cock Cage. <laughs> so there's no way that your story is more embarrassing. It's just one of them. I have more. Right? Yeah, we've got I'm worse going, ones. I'm going some terrible <laughs> stories. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You gotta start telling us yours in bits and pieces, then we'll give. No, no. So I'm not gonna tell you all my bad shit. And you're like, you know, it's time to go home. I don't know. No, thank you. I'd, it, I'd rather talk about comedy. This is comedy. Or or film. Or this is hilarious. Listen, not, this is not a topic bullshit. podcast. A topic. This, this we is don't not talk a... about topics here. <laughs> As you can see, we didn't give you. A this story. is not a theme <laughs> podcast where it's like, oh, this he's, is a negotiation. This is a, this is a local director <laughs> and filmmaker, and we're going to bring him in today to talk about some of his many projects. No, fucker. <laughs> oh, he did do a project though. We should talk a pr- about. Yeah, project. do check out this on project. Vimeo. is a pretty great project. Where, right you, where can you go watch your film at? Vimeo. Vimeo. Uh, how, what, like, is there, Vimeo. dot com is where I put up all my projects. What is uh? What's what do you type in to find that project? <laughs> this one in particular, because I'm on it. Yeah, we're both in this thing, and we can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's called Knock 'Em Up. Knock. Knock 'Em Up. N o c k e m dead. You 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 knock him dead. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, knock him dead. Uh, I'm kind of. It's called it's knock him up. Seth Rogen on my mind. For your own shit. He's like, it's called knock him up. It's called <laughs> knock him up. 
It's Nag- got <laughs> Steve Rogan. Knock him up and kill him dead or something. I don't know. <laughs> kill him dead. Shit, you you didn't know it. <laughs> Fuck. As soon as, yeah, but <laughs> we didn't I didn't create the fucker. I, I was in it for <laughs> seven seconds. You didn't maybe. know you didn't know what it was called, but you definitely knew it was wrong when you <laughs> Yes. When you heard it was, it's, it's called Cedro. Knock 'em Up. <laughs> it's the fucking It's called movie. Knock 'em Dead. Go to yes. the, the Vimeo.com. <laughs> yes. Are you drunk? <laughs> Go to fucking Vimeo, you fucking, fucking, go to, fucking go pussies. Go to fucking Vimeo.com and look at knock them up. It's on there. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. You know what? For the audio listeners, I wonder if I can do a close enough Bosso impression that I can tell the story of how he lost his virginity and mm-hmm. people will think mm-hmm. that it's him. Ooh. We're going to make it t- worse t- than the, whatever happened The Blade to you. Runner 2049 joke in there. Just make it about time. how you raped a crackhead, basically. That's what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. So... I was 19 years old, and I was parked in the parking lot (laughs) of the local (laughs) playground, and then one of them wandered (laughs) off while their parents were texting, (laughs) so I grabbed my bag of candy and my balloons. (laughs) And I approached her, and I said, where... (laughs) <laughs> and I said, would you like some candy in a balloon? <laughs> and then I drug her into my trunk. It's like an alien from South Park. <laughs> Very ethereal. You are, you so you're an alien from South Park? Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would uh, be very much of a good uh, thing to do if... uh, (laughs) (laughs) The aliens from South Park... Bosso being a a worse Bosso is weird. The the aliens from South Park literally just say moo. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. They just moo. They Uh, think that the cows are the intelligent form of life Uh, on Earth, so they moo. I don't know what I'm thinking of. But uh, you're thinking about telling us a story. Very, very like, I want to hear the fucking. No, what, do we, I, what do I have to do to have I to tell am me off telling camera? you the story? Uh, I don't know. Bath salts or something. I am. Was it bath salts? There it is. She was on bath salts. Or something. Oh, like, that fucking rules. <laughs> she tried to eat your dick off or something. <laughs> you gave her bath salts in the hope it was like, well, if you eat people's faces, maybe you'll also eat my ass. And <laughs> Give you some bath salts, we hop in a fucking bubble bath, and you just... <laughs> You're never going to tell us, We're you? making memories and bubbles in this bitch. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so, no, he already told the story about how he took the young girl down into but the basement of it, shame. He, and he <laughs> did it for the Jews. Remember that. How, uh, like, listen, he needed to lose his virginity. I understand. He hadn't busted a nut in, with a real person yet. You were 19. You did what you had to do. I respect it. I'm Eric Basso and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said is true. <laughs> Everything that was said here tonight I'm say- was factually I, I am of sound accurate. mind and body. Mind and body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here well, under my own sound volition. Mind. Sound <laughs> mind. Right, 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 sound right, right. mind. <laughs> Your body's very mute. <laughs> <laughs> Silent body. All right. <laughs> Oh, let's wrap this bitch up. We've been going for definitely more than long enough. It's been fun. Well, this is I where we uh, answer emails, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah From all the it. fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shut, Shut up, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we answer emails. That you guys I will, totally I will don't go home get. and make ten fuck you. <laughs> How many people listen to your podcast? Shut the fuck up, all right? God <laughs> damn it, Basso. How many views did the video get? Uh, the um, I think it was like at 44 last time. Ah, boom! We That's fucking you. one episode of this. Ah, Kiss my fucking yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Wait, it Jerk Off mean. Guys podcast fucking rules. Wait, Fuck Eric Basso. That's one episode? I think we're better than that. Your content has been flagged as hate speech. <laughs> uh, that's happened more than once. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. Great. It's pretty accurate. Actually. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Since you said I'm Eric Boston and I approve this message, I'm just gonna make a mm, giant sample super cut that. of yep, us yep. saying <laughs> horrific things <laughs> and you just following up, I'm Eric Boston and I approve this message. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Do you have anything you want to plug? You have shows coming up? 
Uh, yeah, shrunk ahead on the 20th. We've got mm-hmm. the roast of little baby Grogu Yoda. Okay. Star Wars themed roast. Oh, okay. He's on that roast. Nice. Uh, we've got some Glitter Boy action. We've got some outside of the Glitter Boy action. It's an amorphous. I hate how now it's right like they're not now. a Glitter Boy. They're it's, outside. It's a the surprise kill. Well, it's a, it's a character thing. Some people are gonna be showing up. I'm starting to. So I'm starting to get a little great. offended than when stuff comes to like. Comes to jokes light. about. Like it's a show that's about you know like comic books and like nerdy stuff. No, the word comic. And, and I'm not invited. Mm. You're kind of nerdy. Look at this. Look at this shit. Do you, who do you want to be? You want to go be, be be on the twentieth? Do you want to be a Star Wars character? He wants to be Nazi man. Do I have to dress up? Yes. I don't have the money to fuck. <laughs> do you, do you Sorry, have no, do you have a a, a a a wardrobe? What is it? A, <laughs> a bathrobe? Like a, Bathroom? Oh, yeah, I'll just yeah, be yeah. a Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Qui Gon is already taken. Mm. Young Luke is already taken. Mm. Can I be old Luke? Sure. I already have the hairline for it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. We'll discuss this further. Hell Thank yeah. you for tuning in, everybody. Hey, I also have a show on the 27th at Juniors. Oh. At juniors yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. What show is that? Uh, just underground comedy. Just, uh, just uh, I get to, to to pick out some people, and I'm gonna do that, and, and it's gonna be funny times, and we're gonna have jokes. And, cool. And, but, but, but I love it. And I continue to not be asked to be a part of these. Um, shows. you want to be on two show, shows in a row, bro? <laughs> this is the still. This is the still <laughs> that I will use. All right. Uh, Thumbnail. Anything else? Is that good? Thumbnail. <laughs> Um, I have nothing coming. Am I on that show at Juniors? Can I be on it? I find sure. it hilarious yeah, yeah, yeah. that we I'll plug. I find it hilarious that we plug stuff to forty fucking people. <laughs> it's so funny, and the uh, literally the all the people that watch are like other comedians in Columbus. Hey, once these forty people watch my movie, then it will have yes. more views. Knock them than... dead on <laughs> Vimeo. Knock them up on video on Vimeo. Go watch it. It's the it's it'll it'll be in the episode description. Yes, sure, maybe. <laughs> Disclaimer at the bottom. No, the because I don't want you to have more views than us. <laughs> Fuck you, because you were talking all that shit. You were talking all that shit. I'm gonna, you know what? Uh, in the description, I'm gonna put a link to somebody else, somebody else's movie that <laughs> Entry they put into on the video. 48. Yes, <laughs> somebody else's. Somebody, somebody did a a, a, a 48 and link, and it's like about. The 48 community and somebody played me, like portrayed me <gasps> as a character. So like better or worse than me? Uh oh, worse. Uh, okay. Wait, they, they were barely. It was like the back out, of my head. When do you guys find out the like, winner of the whole thing? They usually take like a month or two to judge so it all those. Soon, so, almost, yeah. Yeah. When it's been like three weeks since you submitted, or right? yeah, something like that. Do we get anything because we were in it? Do we get like a like a? There's usually like, like a, a cer- cer- certificate or a medal. Um. Maybe if there's a best ensemble award. Can we have a little party if we win anything? Say part or party? Party. Party. I don't yeah. want any more parties. You know what? I'll allow it. We can have a party. <laughs> so, so, you all, uh, you mm-hmm. approve this? You, you, approve guys, <laughs> you guys pay for everything, and uh, you guys <laughs> have the set up the venue, but I will allow you to No, do I don't this. want to, because Jeff is going to be an asshole at that party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm the best in the best ensemble. <laughs> we won because it was me! <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't, want to, I don't want to deal with that. Fuck Jeff Ladala. That's the that should be the name of the episode. Just yeah, fuck so Jeff Ladala. <laughs> fuck you, Jeffrey. You suck. Nobody likes you. You're the worst person with the name Jeffrey that I've ever heard of. Hi, Jeff. I'll second that. Yeah. And there's another guy named Epstein. I'm just sitting here. Q, I'm Eric Basso, and I approve this message. I approve this message. All right. All right, let's go for a jog. Let's go jog. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Bye. (laughs) 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 (